So today's task is to put a winch on the back of the ATV. I had bought a, originally, uh, a two and a half inch uh, plate that would go on and the winch would be mounted to that. Uh, in addition to the plate would allow me to have the normal uh, hitch there attached to it. But the more I read, the more I saw that there's a weakness that if you put too much pressure on this, you can see it's attached to this transfer case here. And this ends up cracking and costing a lot of money to replace. So I was able to find a company that had made a winch mounting kit up to these four bolts here. And so the goal today is to go ahead and install the mounting kit and install the winch. That way it takes a lot of the pressure off this and I can have this be just a traditional normal hitch to pull trailers and stuff. So that's the task for today. So at this point I have the bracket attached to the Can-Am but here's the other half of the winch mounting bracket. This mounting bracket here now will attach to the sides to the side posts here. So at this point, we have a winch mounted inside the mounting bracket. Uh, we have the thing I will do is put the cable guide and, uh, and then from that, we'll start the project of, of uh, wiring up the winch. So down here, we have the winch mounted and the cable guide uh, bolted on. So the next piece that I started was the wiring uh, portion. And I had gotten this uh, side piece of uh, plastic that came with um, this cargo box. And it can act as a divider, so I managed to find some pieces of angle, well, it's not iron, but metal of some sort, and bolted the, the solenoid uh, and everything associated with the winch and uh, mounted the switch. Uh, seems to be mounted pretty solid there. We'll give it a try. I'm gonna go ahead and use some wire ties, tie this back up, and then start looking at how I get to the battery from the solenoid here in a way. And I think there's a way to go straight down through and uh, be in good shape.